Well, of course, it has been a very stressful and daunting time for healthcare workers. They have had to deal with the darkness of this pandemic on a daily basis. And let's talk to Sibongi Siani Deli Klauzo from Denosa joining us live. So, of course, it's been a very tough year for healthcare workers. You've complained a lot about the working conditions, about a lack of PPE. How would you assess the year that was? Well, good afternoon to Shahan. Um, well, we're still complaining. It's been a very bumpy year for healthcare workers, but I think credit must be given to them. Uh, we currently in the country have 94.6% recovery rate, and that speaks volumes about the kind of work that they put in, despite their conditions that, of course, they worked under. There were many issues that we are still crying about, and key to those is the protection of healthcare workers. I think if there's any lesson that we would have learned out of this crisis, it would be the need to actually take care of our healthcare workers and protect them. We've cried over the issue of PPE, particularly the quality thereof, and many healthcare workers at some point had to buy their own PPE out of concern of the, of the quality of the one that they were given in the workplace. But I think it's about time government can, if, if, if there, any time, there was any time where government could appreciate healthcare workers, it should be now. We must remember healthcare workers, when they worked, they have worked since April without being um, having their salaries um, increased as per the agreement, and yet they never complained. Well, they complained to government, but they still put in great work, and uh, the results are there for everyone to see. And I think if government does not show this appreciation, many healthcare uh, um, uh, well, countries will definitely poach our healthcare workers, and we're going to have a serious struggle and a shortage of staff further than we have currently. It's sad, isn't it, that healthcare workers are risking their lives to save lives and are treated so dismally when it comes from government side. Why do you think that is, though? Do you really honestly believe that government's just ignoring you or that it has to deal with so many things to get this pandemic right so that we can fight it altogether? Well, well, I think it could be that. But also, I think... The importance of the people that are actually saving you as a country from the pandemic, such as healthcare workers, particularly your essential service workers, like your nurses, your police, and the likes, we think that government did not really focus on that area because it could have been easy for government to look into who is key in terms of providing service you know, for your country, but that they were also treated like everybody in spite of them having worked and unfortunately, as we speak now, many healthcare workers are depressed. There was poor support system in the healthcare settings, and some of them are still attending psychological sessions out of their own pockets because of the poor support system in government. And we still feel there's still time because we're being warned of the third wave. We didn't think healthcare workers would have the energy to actually deal with the second wave. And now we're being warned of the third wave. We think government can still do right. Many countries have put you know, programs in place. If you look at Ghana, for instance, they have offered their healthcare workers tax breaks. If you look at the state of Louisiana in the US, they've done the same thing. And Zimbabwe, for instance, paying danger allowance to healthcare workers. Yeah. Oh, we have lost that connection to Sipongi Siani, Deli Klauzo from Denosa, but of course, giving us an overall picture of how they feel governments handled the COVID-19 pandemic.